Police in Tampa were able to get multiple people to safety after a 911 call indicated a tree had crashed into their home. Hurricane Milton barreled into the Atlantic Ocean on Thursday after plowing across Florida, pounding cities with ferocious winds and rain, and whipping up a barrage of tornadoes. It caused at least four deaths and compounded the misery wrought by Helene while sparing Tampa a direct hit. The storm tracked to the south in the final hours and made landfall as a Category 3 storm Wednesday night in Siesta Key, about 70 miles south of Tampa. He's good for me to shut it, I'm gonna shut it down. It's okay, Bubba. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. That's it. That's it. Let's go. We got three. Three juveniles in route to shelter. I got you, Bubba. Come on, cut it. Right behind him. Right behind him. There we go. Is that everyone? No. Hey, Grandma, coming. We got more coming. Authorities have released footage from the 2022 school shooting in Uvalde, Texas, that police originally failed to make public. The videos released Tuesday show officers scrambling to treat victims and parents running near the building outside Robb Elementary School. Police have said the additional videos were discovered days after a large collection of audio and video recordings were released in August. The delayed law enforcement response to the shooting has been widely condemned as a massive failure. Nearly 400 officers waited more than 70 minutes before confronting the gunman in a fourth grade classroom filled with dead and wounded children and teachers. Hey, grab my rifle. I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help. I don't know. Who's hit? Who's hit? Hey, what's up? Yeah, but imagine we were just kids. That's <laughs> fucked up, man. <laughs> There's a lot, man. I just never thought shit like that would happen here. At least six people were stabbed and wounded in northern Israel in what police say was a militant attack. Police said the assailant stabbed people in multiple locations in the northern city of Hadera on Wednesday before fleeing on a motorbike. The police say they later shot and neutralized him. They did not provide the name or nationality of the assailant. Five of the people who were attacked were in critical or severe condition, while the sixth was moderately wounded according to the nearby Hillel Yaf Medical Center. Palestinians have carried out scores of stabbing, shooting and car ramming attacks against Israelis in recent years, and tensions have spiked over the war in Gaza. Palestinian officials say Israel's bombardment of central and northern Gaza has killed dozens of people and trapped thousands in their homes. The death toll in the year-long war in Gaza meanwhile passed 42,000. Gaza's health ministry said it recovered 40 bodies from Jabalia from Sunday until Tuesday, and another 14 from communities farther north. It said the toll is likely higher as there are bodies buried under the rubble and in areas that can't be accessed. The Israeli military spokesperson said that Israeli forces were operating in Jabalia to prevent Hamas from regrouping and had killed around 100 militants.